Now, one of the most frustrating things to have happen on your Steam Deck or Steam Deck OLED is to not have enough disk space left. And it is frustrating, but the good news is that there are several methods to free up space and manage your storage more efficiently, which I'm going to be going over starting with the most obvious one, just installing games you're no longer really playing anymore. And to do this, you just want to right click on any game you no longer play, and then you want to click manage, uninstall, and then obviously do this for as many games as you need. Okay, the next thing you want to do is move games over to an SD card. Now the Steam Deck supports micro SD cards for additional storage. You know, moving games to an SD card can free up internal space, quite a lot of it. And the one I would actually recommend checking out is the SanDisk. And you can get this at one terabyte. I think they've got two as well. And this can get you a lot of extra space and it's well worth the cost, especially if you don't want to delete any of the games you already have. And they sell these on Amazon for overnight delivery. You know, typically you can grab one of these, um, Really, the price range, like 50 to 100 bucks typically, but I'll have some discount links in the description if you guys want to check this out. The nice thing about SD cards as well is that you can actually use SD cards for other things. So phones still take them, and uh, you know if you have other handhelds like a Nintendo Switch or something, you could also... It's basically like you could use this for a lot of other things, but once you have the SD card, you just want to ensure the micro SD card is inserted into the deck, which you can put in here, and then you just go to your Steam library, right-click on a game, select properties, and then you could choose local files, and then the move install folder, and then you could select your SD card. So you can start putting games on the SD card. Okay, another thing you do is clear the download cache. Now, clearing the download cache can free up some space. You just open the Steam settings, go to uh, the downloads option tab, and then you're going to see a clear download cache button. Now, this isn't going to make a ton of difference, but it can help you out a little bit. Okay, the last thing you do is manage your game files. So some games have large files that can be managed separately, and it's the in-game option. So some games allow you to delete or not install certain content packs or DLCs from within the game settings. Anyways, I hope uh, these tips help you guys out because I know how frustrating it could be to run on low disk space on your Steam Deck. Plus, it can also be like a hindrance to performance. You know, you could start lagging a little bit. But I would highly recommend grabbing an SD card ASAP if you don't already have one. And like I said, I'll have some discount links below in the description for those. Lastly, I like to run a little gameplay on Street Fighter VI because, well, you know, the game is awesome. And I'd recommend checking this game out as well. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to tap that like and let's run it.
this, I wanted to recommend you guys check out Ignition Poker. You know, I think most of us enjoy playing poker in our free time, and this is a great place to do just that. I've currently been playing on Ignition for the last seven years and regularly tear things up at the mid-state games. They've got amazing software for playing on your phone or PC and also offer you the ability to play both free and real money games. And with lots of cash games running 24 hours a day and millions of dollars in monthly tournament prizes, you should be asking yourself, what am I doing here? I need to check out Ignition Poker ASAP. Of course, if you guys would like to learn more about them, there will be some bonus and resource links for them directly below in the description of this video.